Video 5. How to build a huge list the right way, step by step. Building a huge list the right way is not that difficult. It does not take a lot of steps, but you really need to apply them in the correct order to get good results. The core necessary steps are Step 1. Setting up your business's squeeze pages and landing pages. Step 2. Setting up your autoresponder. Step 3. Setting up your tracking strategy. Step 4. Driving targeted traffic to your squeeze pages and landing pages. And Step 5. Analyzing your results. Step 1. Setting up your business's squeeze pages and landing pages. When picking a squeeze page or landing page, there are a few very important things to consider. What we are trying to do here is to build our list as fast as possible and also with the right people. I know there are a lot of different squeeze pages and many of them are great, others aren't. Many of them have been tested extensively by experienced internet marketers as well. For that reason, there are seven principal components you must be aware of and include when creating or choosing the right squeeze page to work with. Component 1. Niche Related The squeeze page you work with should be directly related to your niche. Remember, we are trying to build a list of people directly interested in the topic of your business. This is something that will save you a lot of money in the process of building a highly targeted list of contacts. Remember that the most important thing is not the size of the list, but the quality. Focus on the quality more than on the number. Anyway, you will see how your list gets bigger, and eventually you will have a huge list of high-quality potential customers and customers. The coolest thing is that you will be making money while building your list, because even when the list is small, it is built with people interested in your topic and that are willing to do what it takes to know more about that topic. For testing purposes, I decided to build a squeeze page based on a diabetes product on ClickBank, logically focused on the diabetes niche, which belongs to the health market, which is a very lucrative online market. This is not my product, but it's just an example of something you can do with your own business, product, or service. Component number two, the headline. The headline will be what people see first. Here you must provide a really big promise. You have to really get their attention with that promise. It will tell the most important benefit of your product or service, and it has to be something that will grab the visitor's desire to get access to. It should be something very hot on the topic that your product or service has been created for. Here you can see the main product sales page. I decided to use the exact same headline. This will give a sense of security to the visitors once they go to the sales page, letting them know that they are actually getting information from the product owner directly. I also created a subheadline right here. This is something optional as well. Component 3. The Incentive An incentive is simply a free gift or offer that you give away to your recent subscribers. The initial step to build your list is to get the visitor to opt for the equitable incentive in turn for their contact information. You need to be sure that it is something of the highest possible quality. You should really give some thought to making it both compelling and well presented. There are numerous offers that you can provide for your website visitors, a free report, a free ebook, an FAQ on the topic, a video series, a free trial, a limited access software application, and many more. It doesn't matter which business you are in, high quality incentives and offers give a kickstart to your business. You need to really consider what you can utilize as a free giveaway to get leads. The main thing inside the diabetes product sales page I created is a squeeze page for a video, a really nice video. And because people love watching videos more than reading something, I decided to promote that video in my squeeze page. It is a very good thing to use a graphic representing what they will get access to. That will help them to quickly see what they will get more than reading about it. Component number four, the benefits. Some people will need more convincing than a headline in order for them to give you their name and email. A lot of people really hate spam and won't like to subscribe to something that will have them receiving emails about Viagra, lottery and stuff like that every single day. So you must include a lot more reasons to make them feel sure that they are in the correct place to find valuable information about the topic they are passionate about or need. But it is extremely important that you offer what you really are going to deliver. 
Don't try to lie to people in order to get a lead. That will disappoint the subscribers very much. While creating my diabetes squeeze page for that ClickBank diabetes product, I watched the video and pulled out the main benefits. This way, I'm making sure to deliver exactly what I'm offering in the squeeze page. Component number five, the call to action. The call to action will be what the visitor should do in order to get access to that promise. It should be very clear and not confusing. It should be very easy to do and something that the visitors can do in just a second and obviously should be providing their name and email address or at least the email address. It is very important to be specific. Tell them exactly what they have to do and also what they will be having free access to. Remember to tell them that it is 100% free. Component number six, the action box. The action box will be where the visitor actually does what he is invited to do in order to get access to that promise. The action box is nothing more and nothing less than the opt-in box and submit button where the visitor will be able to type his name and email and then click in order to get instant access to what you have promised. This is a very simple and extremely powerful way to prepare your potential customers to get access to your sales page. Component number seven, the legal information. This is something of extreme value. Maybe some people don't read this information, but you must include it there because some people may read them. This is something that will increase the trust of the visitors in some degree. Remember, there are a lot of scam squeeze pages out there made by people that know the value of a lead, but are desperate to get as many of them no matter what it takes, even illegally. This legal page will give the visitor a sense of security that you exist, that you have a unique domain name, and that you are responsible. This will tell them what you will be doing with the information they will provide to you. Also, this will give them the option to contact you if they need to. That's something very important. There are a lot of online services that offer you amazing tools to create your squeeze pages or landing pages. There are three places that I would like you to check out for this. And those places are optimizepress.com, leadpages.net, and buylandingpagedesign.com. I know there are a lot of options for squeeze pages and landing pages, and you might be asking yourself which one to use. What I advise you to do is test them all. Yeah, prepare all of them with the same information and get them ready to test each and every one of them. Your results will tell you which converts the best. Remember results vary because there are a lot of things involved in the lead generation process.